I'm Pastor Steve. Our featured video this week for download uh, with a small paywall of $3 uh, or that will be released to subscribers if you are a subscriber to the website. This video is called Omega Mind and the Matrix of the Way Things Are. And in my own personal opinion, though I wrote this more than 10 years ago now, I feel this may be one of the best things I ever wrote. It, it, it's a very deep, systematic analysis of the matrix of the way things are and Omega Mind. Now, I use the phrase Omega Mind instead of God. I use that word in this essay because God is a word that comes with all kinds of cultural and doctrinal freight. You cannot talk about God without offending someone whose concept of God is different from your concept of God. And so rather than make that mess, I just said, look, let, let's posit a concept and call it Omega Mind. And let's look at this concept and see where it goes. Because I believe that whatever we say and whatever we do has to make sense to people regardless of their cultural or religious background. It happens that some of the most sensible and intelligent people I have had the privilege of talking with in my life are atheists, or they are agnostics, or they're just not very religious people. That doesn't separate anything. That doesn't separate or make their thought invalid. So I took a look at the, the whole question of supernaturalism and anomalous events that occur. And I thought of the idea that if we took multiverse theory seriously, now multiverse theory, people can go get the Wikipedia on that, you can do a web search on multiverse theory. Tons of books written about it, all kinds of interesting ideas. What I'm working with is just the, 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 the concept that if there are multiverses, and if those multiverses should happen to intersect each other or touch one another or cross over in some respect, that there could be an anomalous event. And an anomalous event is non-reproducible. It's going to be short in duration. It's going to be non-reproducible. It's something that happens that everybody goes, whoa, that thing happened. What was that? And, and the, 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 it, you can't explain it. It doesn't make sense according to the paradigms that we operate with in this universe. So it's about universe crossover events. It's a, it's a reflection and an exploration of that. I got this concept watching the movie the Matrix, and I quote from The Matrix in the essay a little bit of dialogue that occurred with the Oracle, where the, where the Oracle speaks of how there are programs that effectively hack other programs that cause these anomalous events to occur. It's a, it's a famous scene. It's, it's in the Matrix. You can download the Matrix and watch the Matrix and you'll see it. And, and it, it helped me to explore this idea of what would happen if universes intersect. So there's a lot of multiverse theory in this essay. Uh, and then there is also uh, a, an examination of our consciousness and what our consciousness is because we have this way 
an individual can have a phenomenal experience of consciousness, a mystical experience, a visionary experience. And they share their visionary, mystical experience, which can be life-changing for them, and it makes no sense at all for everybody else. Or you can have a mystical, visionary, life-changing experience, an experience of self-actualization, and you can convince a group of followers that to believe your experience, and that group of followers can grow, and they can become a religion. But then the guy down the street, or the girl down the street, has a visionary, mystical experience, and shares her experience and creates something else, and the two then end up in conflict with one another because their visionary mystical revelations of divinity can be completely paradoxical to one another. How does that work? What's up with that? Shouldn't we put our minds into trying to fathom how all this goes together? So. Omega Mind and the Matrix of the Way Things Are is an incredibly deep document. You're probably not going to make it through in one sitting. I'm going to make a video in a couple of minutes for TikTok, uh, and that is an amazing reach between the actual document, Omega Mind and the Matrix of the Way Things Are, and TikTok. But this is the world we live in today, and it is fantastic. And each of us, regardless of who we are, regardless of our background, needs to find our way through this maze. And that's what this whole project is all about. So thank you for downloading the document, um, and thank you for your support of this project. We'll be in touch.